Chris for Tech Tablets here with a part two hands-on with the Remix tablet. This is an Android tablet. It's 11.6 inches. It's got a full HD touchscreen. Now it's an OGS panel. It's a all-in-one glass solution. And so it's a laminated. Laminated screen. And view angles are really good on it. And there is none of that gap between the glass there. So it's a very nice panel so far. The build quality of the tablet I've only just really started to use it, it's excellent. It is very nice and very reminiscent of the Surface 2, very similar. And it has this lovely keyboard dock here. So it's an Android tablet that you can do some serious typing on because it has that nice keyboard. And you even see there I've got a mouse pointer as well for launching various applications. And the custom Remix OS is what it runs here. So it's a custom operating system on top of Android 4.4.2. And very smooth so far. It's running a Tegra 4 with 2 gigabytes of RAM. And Play Store works. Everything is working really good so far. This was a Kickstarter tablet that has kicked off. And this is the end result here of that Kickstarter campaign, which is a really solid looking tablet. Very nice there's quite a few uh, things here that they do have extra with the their custom operating system here, how they've modified it. So we have, we can clean up the RAM usage here. Maybe you were gaming or something and you want the most available RAM to you, then you can you can do that there. Um, various pre-stored applications, you have a power manager. You can have a quick look and it will tell you the time remaining. So I have one day, 13 hours of my current usage and there is even a uh, power saving mode here that I can select. They can give you little uh, tips and things there to save power. There's a pull down menu. So it's a little bit different there from your standard Android tablets. And you can see applications that are running there. Then we have these quick little toggles here. So we can turn off Bluetooth, wireless, the vibration. Uh, it does have a ambient light sensor there. So you can turn on auto brightness and it will control the screen there automatically with the sensor. So again, something that's similar on the high-end tablets. This is this is definitely a, a premium Android tablet so far. You can take screenshots. You have GPS as well built into this. So you can run maps, Google Maps. No problem there. I will get into some detail on some other videos in regards to gaming, running this various applications. I just need to get a handle of the system first. But I have a quick look here at the settings. So about the tablet here, we can see that um, the base operating system being Android is 4.4.2 there and um, they do have their own system updated here so you have over the air updates when they are released at the moment I do have the latest version this is basically the back buttons right here and you have a home button and you've got email, file, ex file explorer, gallery, camera there is really no bloat where on there there is a Chinese what looks to be like a, a market application here. This is probably their own setup, their own store there. It even comes with a RAR installed on there, MX players for your videos. And really quite nice. The typing experience on the keyboard, really good. Very nice keyboard, feels great. And we do have shortcuts here that we can use to control the brightness up and down as you would on a PC, as a Windows tablet PC, you can control the volume with the speakers. I'll test those speakers there in YouTube, run some games, that will be in other videos. So do subscribe if you are interested in this tablet and you want to see more on it. I'll have lots more up and coming. You'd have that handy back button here as well that you can use. And the browser is a custom browser here. And you can multitask here a little differently. See the, the windows pop up here in front. So you can search as well for, I just installed Geekbench that just popped up, Geekbench 3 open that up right there and just have a quick look here so you can see there that it is a Nvidia chip this is the Tegra 4 and this is the Remix operating system details there on the battery I do have CPU-Z installed so I'll just go back into the menu and show you that hopefully that has installed uh, it actually doesn't look like it has it's still downloading there so some applications, Geekbench 3 has installed, some of them are updating. So I'm just getting used to the tablet at the moment. The cameras seem excellent. There's a uh, rear-facing and forward-facing camera. Both of them have microphones, so depending on which one you use, it will use the, the according 
microphone there that to allow you to um, record the sound from the camera which is facing. So if you were going to be talking on the rear camera, of course you want the sound to be recorded from the rear. So that is nice, you know, little details, tension to details like that. The um, volume rocker is very nice too. It's uh, metal there and the power on button is actually recessed a little bit there to stop accidental knocks and things. Overall, the build quality seems really impressive. It's very well put together. and uh, There is no creaks or anything there. We had that one first kickstand position there and that's the second kickstand position. So you can lower it back a little bit. So if you're typing on your lap or something, and the addition here of the keyboard is something I really do like that makes it quite a practical 11.6 inch Android tablet. Very good. So uh, just going to get used to the tablet first, install some applications and I'll have some up and coming videos. I will do some gaming on it, run some Play Store games, see how they perform. I'll also run benchmarks, CPU Z, show you all the sensors on it and 3D Mark as well. See what kind of scores I can get there. Thank you for watching this video. If you did like the video, please give me a like. And as I said, do subscribe because I will have more, lots more videos up and coming of this Remix tablet. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.